Mario is one of the most iconic characters of all time. I mean, you can't argue that he is the image you think of when you think of video games. He's been in so many games from Mario Kart, Mario Party, just normal Mario, Mario Galaxy, Mario Sports games, and that's just on the Wii. He's literally everywhere. And because of his popularity, people have played Mario games many different ways before. But I doubt many people have played Mario like this. Hey guys, I'm Thomas in the Switch Stop, and this is playing Mario with paper. So you heard me, we are going to be attempting to play Mario with paper? So, in order to do this, we need something called a Makey Makey. This is the box, it's uh, really well packaged, it's really nice, it's basically what it does is it allows your computer to, like, read it, and your computer thinks it's a keyboard. And then the Makey Makey allows you to use random everyday objects as those keys. So, this is the centralized hub for the Makey Makey, it's the most important part of the whole thing. These are alligator clips. You plug these into the things you want to use and then back into the hub. So I've been talking about using things a lot, and what better to use as an example than the one they use themselves, a banana. So we're going to attach a, this alligator clip to the banana, and then the banana is going to be used as our mouse click button. So there it's attached, and then we use the other side of the alligator clip to attach on into the click part of the makey makey. Then, using that, we plug the Makey Makey in with the included USB cable, and we use that USB 3.0 end to plug into our computer. Except we can't because of Apple's newest innovation, so we have to run out and get our little extender thing. Then plug it into there, and we're good. So this looks like it's pretty complicated, and there's a lot of wires, but basically what it's doing is the Makey Makey is connected to the banana. And the banana is connected to the Makey Makey, obviously. And then the Makey Makey is connected to the computer. And we're also connected to the Earth part, so that it's, it's basically completing a circuit through us. And when we touch the banana, it's going through the banana, through the cable, through the Makey Makey, into the computer. And anxiousness is at an all time high. It's kind of complicated, but I mean, if, if you understand it, cool, if you don't, whatever, it doesn't matter. Okay, so we're all done with that, now let's go into trying to actually make the controller with pencil lead, or graphite, which is actually really conductive, which is good because it works really well. Alright, so this is the little controller I made. I mean, I think it's pretty good. It, it literally took me like no more than 10 minutes. It, it was really easy. I didn't obviously like measure anything. I just freehanded it and it should work for what we're trying to do. So for here, this is the um view I'm kind of going for. We have the camera view down at the bottom in case you don't believe me or anything and then the direct feed up obviously on the screen Here I go. so as we start uh, the run both ways right and left and jump are working which is nice so if I get this mushroom but hold up Okay, so sprint is not working, and neither is ground pound, or just the down one. Alright, that's pretty good. So, I mean, we got three for five out of the things we're actually going to use, so that's not too bad. Now, I'm just readjusting some of the lines to hopefully make it better. And this was kind of an odd take. I'm not really sure what happened here, but I couldn't move left. So yeah, that was kind of a failed take. All right, take three. So we're back in and we can move left, but unfortunately, once again, we cannot sprint. 
However, I knew what the problem was, it was just the cables weren't actually connected all the way. So, I was pretty confident in this next try, so I enabled Big Mario and Invincibility Hacks just for the fun. So as we jump on in, you can see, obviously, um, we're already at the halfway point, and we're Invincible Big Mario, which is just not something you can normally get. But this is working, I mean, it, it's working perfectly fine, I can go forward, I can't go back for some reason, but who needs to go back in Mario? So yeah, I mean, with a bit more, like, tweaking, I bet we could have gotten it 100%, so we could have gone back, but I mean, what's, what's really the point of that? The whole thing worked, and I mean, I completed the level, and that's pretty much was my goal. So thank you guys so much for watching. This was kind of a different video from anything I've ever done. I mean, I've never actually recorded anything with a camera, so I just used my phone, so I'm sorry if that was pretty bad quality. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and peace out.